What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy and today I'll be sharing with you all my top 10 go-to lock styles. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, notoriously on my channel, I do like usually wear my locks down, but every now and then I will try and spice it up. So I have compiled some go-to styles that I've used throughout the four years that I've had my locks. So the majority of these styles can be used whether you have shorter locks or medium locks or long locks. Do I, okay, I'm gonna ask y'all real quick. Do I have medium locks or long locks? I can't tell. Like, I feel like I maybe have long locks, but they, maybe they're medium, I don't know. Let me know if I have medium or long locks. That's really been on my mind. <laughs> but to get started with the first style, I'm just gonna do the one I have right now. It is just the basic two little space buns with the rest of my locks just hanging down. And um, the buns to achieve, it's pretty simple. I just kind of get two long ponytails and I wrap my locks around into buns and then I will secure them with a, either a small rubber band uh, or bobby pins and you're like Kennedy are you gonna show us yes I'm gonna show you <laughs> but yeah that's just my first style so that's um, just that the good old classic two space buns so I'm gonna go ahead and take these down and get into the next style and don't worry I will show you all how I do my buns so the next style I'm gonna do is about as basic as it can get this is what I do whenever I'm working out. And I don't want my locks slapping me in the face. I will grab, this could work, but I have found these really nice bigger ones like at my hair store. Um, it helps with like, it's less tension. It stretches way better than like a regular ponytail. It's like a dollar, like everything at the hair store. <laughs> so if I'm working out, I just kind of do this and that is just the classic go ponytail you can bring it on the sides like that and that is about as simple as it gets so if I'm working out like I said I'll do that if I'm going out real quick I can do that and that's if you want to you know get your little edges swooped and swayed and have them on display that's another style, but that is just another great go-to when I don't want my locks slapping me in the face. So my next style is just the classic ponytail with bangs. So I will just go back, maybe, let me see, the first two rows in my head. Make sure, you gotta make sure it's even on both sides. So this is just a pretty simple one as well. Just get a ponytail holder and ta-da. <laughs> and you just have a nice classic ponytail going with your bangs. Um, you can do, you know, the full back, you know, without the bangs, but that's usually if I have like my edges done. Like right now, I don't have any, I don't have on any edge control, so I have my bangs so you can't see my edges. <laughs> so that's that. Next style. I can will do is the half up half down so this is another one that I do either with or without bangs I'm gonna do it with bangs just for now so just kind of make sure you have like your um, an even number of locks up and an even number hanging down and then the same thing with just a few rows of lock bangs in the back so that's what that looks like. And then I just kind of pull, make sure it's even, and kind of fan it out so it kind of gives it like a nice voluminous look. So it doesn't look like just like a flat ponytail to the back. So that's how it just looks like. Just a good old half up, half down with bangs. And then as I said, the next style will be just the same thing, just without the bangs and I'm gonna let some of this have some of the locks in my ponytail drop just so the locks that are down look full 
And then I will just make another ponytail. Go around a second time. So I'll do that. And then you just wanna fan that ponytail out as well. And then that gives you that look. You can have it, you know, straight back as well. But it looks like, I don't really like it like that, me personally. So I just kind of fan out my ponytails whenever I have my hair up like this. So that's just the regular half up, half down. Then I usually would have my edges done with that. All right, so the next style is just gonna be a little quick, lazy one. This is just the basic scoop over style. No, this really counts as a style or not, but um, like I said, I usually like to have my locks hanging down anyway, so if I don't want to just have them looking flat, I'll kind of just swoop them over that way or the other way. So it looks, you know, give the girls some flip action, you know? <laughs> so that's just another simple style. Don't have to worry about any tension on your hair with any rubber bands or bobby pins or things like that. Okay, so next, this is a style that I used to do a lot. Um, whenever my locks were shorter. I can still do it now, but it's just, it was like a super go-to whenever my locks were shorter. So I would do like, I would first get some bangs. Like I had like the first two or three rows in my head out like this. And then I would just make a ponytail on one side, like so get the same amount of bangs on my right side. Make sure I grab an even amount of blocks. And then just make another ponytail on this side of my head and just kind of do like the two ponytail look. So this style, I don't really do it now because my locks are a little bit longer. It still looks cute like this, but whenever my locks were shorter, I would do this style all the time. Like I would always have the two ponytails going. So you can do that like um, with bangs or you can just, you know, a second, another style. This is another two for one where you can do with or without bangs and just kind of like tuck those in to the ponytail. And then that's another style. So it's like with or without bangs. And then that's another one where it's like, you can tailor it how you want, depending on how many locks you want in the ponytails, like how full you want them to be. So I'm just gonna, you can take some out the back if you want, like that. I'm just gonna take some out the back of each ponytail. So it's like that. So that way it looks like the locks you have down, it looks more full. So it's just up to you, another one of those styles. So I started the video with the two buns and I said I was gonna circle back. I have circled back and it's time. So when I opened the video, I didn't have the bangs going, the bangs. So, like I said, a lot of the styles I do are two for one. So I usually do them with or without bangs because we are, we are versatile people, okay? <laughs> so I'm just going to, like I previously did, leave out the first few in the front of my head on each side as bangs and then I will go to the back of my head and just kind of make sure that my two ponytails that will be turned into bangs are somewhat even like so and then I don't like whenever the ponytails I just want to make sure I don't have too many locks with my ponytails so that the locks that I have hanging down, you know, looks like scarce. I just wanna make sure it's like even ratio between the locks and ponytails and the locks I have hanging down. So, if that made any sense, <laughs> you do the first ponytail, then the second ponytail, like that. So basically it's like the style I just had. I just want to make sure that the 
ponytails were even. Okay, so this is how I do my buns. I kind of just start twisting it around. Let's see. Just to make sure it starts out looking neat. Like that. And then I just kind of start to tuck them in so it gets some shape. And it does take a minute, so you gotta be patient with this, the space buns. And then I have like these little tiny rubber bands. And I just kind of do that to secure it in place. So that's one space bun. And then you see like the little ends of the locks hanging. That's when I will sometimes either get another rubber band and repeat, or I'll get like a, a bobby pin and just kind of put it in the bun to secure the little, you know, the tendrils at the end. So yeah. And then I have to find another rubber band. I just repeat on the other side. And then I get that rubber band around it. Like I know some people like really want their space buns perfect. I don't really care, me personally. So I don't, I'm not one who's like super, like it has to look exactly the same. It's fine, as long as they are in place and not hanging and looking too wild, they don't have to be identical to me. So like this, this is perfect for me. I don't need them to be perfect. And I just have my bangs. So this is basically the same style I had when I opened the video. I just now have bangs with them. I feel like this one looks a little bit bigger, but it's okay just for video purposes. You get the idea. Okay, so this is my last style. Um, it's gonna look like the ponytail, the half up, half down ponytail with bangs. But instead of it keeping it as a ponytail, I'm gonna just make it a bun. So I already have my hair section off where it's an even amount hanging down and an even amount for my ponytail that I'm gonna turn into a bang. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that ponytail, make sure I have the right, okay. So I just go around twice, okay. So right now at this point, we have the same half up, half down ponytail style that I did earlier. But now we just start twisting it around and making it into a bun. Okay, and then like I mentioned earlier, I know people like to make their buns perfect. I am not one of those people. As long as it's staying put, it's fine with me. So I just kind of make sure that the ends of my locks are tucked in. And then this is another one that you can do with or without the bangs. Um, I don't have any edge control on right now, so I'm doing it with the bangs. But that's just another easy half up, half down style. Okay, so that was my last style. Those are my 10 go-to block styles. And those styles, like I mentioned, can be manipulated and tailored, whether you have short, medium, or longer locks. Hope it gave you some ideas, some inspo. I can do a second part video with like some more complicated styles, like twist. But the ones that I had today were just the main ones that I go to on a daily basis. If I'm going grocery shopping or running errands, things like that. Those are also some good styles in there for like low tension on your hair, um, you know, so you're not pulling on your locks with those, you know, super detailed styles. Um, so yeah, again, hope you enjoyed. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Peace.